the canteen over there. The only little score line for Football Victoria on this Saturday night and almost span out of the hands of so right now the flame the candles waiting to get the match to it this might be it and the ball bobs I reckon Oldfield got a staff and here's the chance they might get bounced across the box third tell down and a rifle shot third tell just dropped Another cluster of contrary results. Leah just stumbled. Hopefully, Cannons will charge into the front half. Things went on. He had this one on one with the keeper that he really should have scored to put South Melbourne you know, comfortably clear in that one. And it was such a bad miss that Esteban Quintas had his, uh, his esky that he was sitting on knocked oh, over. Sorry, great ball into the box and off the crossbar. Well, well aware to uh, the effort there and save pretty comfortably. Ball whipped into the back post and headed away. Maybe one and a half as the ball goes over the top. Feely off his line quickly. Now an opportunity to come forward here through midfield with Knowles. Looks wide there to Joe Guest who chases that ball down in a wide area now an opportunity to try and find the overload Knowles getting around him does well here can he get the cross in he does a good clearance and out for another corner crucial delivers it into the area Clark off his line does well to fist the ball clear and now an opportunity on the count of a strong challenge there from Knowles absolutely uncompromising and Sawyer got across to block the delivery into the air again South Melbourne happy to be resolute and compact and the Oakley Cannons just struggling to really find that Pass into the final third as Knowles in towards the box himself. Has a strike, but again, plenty of bodies ahead of the ball. On the turn again, Knowles clips it in towards the back post. Miller was arriving. Couldn't quite. We're getting near there for at least a good 25 minutes. They are efficient, I've got to say, but they're highly sought after here tonight. Yeah, I think that's a testament to the quality of the, the famous Oakley Souve. They pump him out with, like, you know, scar soup. A 2-1 victory against the Port Melbourne Sharks. As Guest drives forward here for Oakley. Comes inside. Really good chance for Knowles. Just nipped away from him at the final moments. Still Knowles there. Delivers back post. And it was a dangerous ball. Decker just couldn't quite get to it. And he's back the opportunity for three points rather than the one. As Dylan comes forward here. Edge of the area. Ahead of him is Knowles. Who has a long strike off the crossbar. Comes back. Holmes now releases quickly as Zach Bates is ready to go here on the touchline. Dylan cuts inside. Decker, who's really been in all action. Man, in the second half or so, it was Knowles that time, rather. And in that instance, he wasn't fast. Trickery. He does have a few skills in the locker. That's a handy thing for Oakley to bring to the table in the final 10 minutes of this game. Now the ball's cut inside here. It's Knowles again, who clips it over the top. Great ball to Manchie. Oh, don't tell me he's going to try this. Centering ball. Good win from Thurtell. Knowles now beats his man. Chance to drive forward here. He's under pressure from Pavlou. Couldn't get him. Knowles into the box. Cuts it back. Great defending. And that will be a free kick to Oakley. Here at Churchill Reserve. Hart gives that ball up. Now Knowles making a run down the right side. Has two defenders to deal with immediately. Then finally sends it in. Maybe a chance here. And missing the shot. Halfway line. Sending it high for Knowles. Just a bit off target though. For Sheeney. We'll give it back to Knowles now. Media pressure from Bargridge. Did well to feed it back. Here's a chance for Oakley. St. Albans setting one up over the top. Intended for Hart. Does get there before Williams. Calls for a foul on it. Joe Hart. Go unheard. Dib getting there before Guest. Holmes. Decker. Maybe thought about a shot. Instead went for the pass for Knowles. It comes back out to Knowles. Finding a way pass. It's tapped in. Thurtell this time gets on the end of it. This is Holmes.
Knowles. Finding some space and sending another ball in, but Christie was there to concede the corner. Holmes looking to set up Guest once more, just shoved off that ball. Adam Bafka said it was okay. Then losing his footing was Hart. Now a chance as Knowles gets put down and Adam Bafka does come in. Pressure was coming. Here's the turnover, Joe Guest. Out wide in this right side for Joe Knowles. A couple of runners available, Knowles. He stays with it, though. Nice ball, third tail. A, not a bad header at all. Feel he would have been forced to make that save. Shot not quite on target in the end. Knowles reading it well in flight. Here's Knowles. Decides to go for it himself. A good save made by Hayden Brown. Now a corner. Third tell. Can you get around Chris Deep here? Decides to pass for Guest instead. Knowles one and one for the keeper. And finally we get that second goal. Third tell and Knowles the goal scorers. More than an hour apart. Knowles on the left side now, as he was late in the first half. Got taken down. But within these next few weeks. Fashini for Lucas. Have they got a third in them here? Ball's come out wide here. Lucas, it does find the back of the net, it does. Looking to continue that legacy in MPL Victoria of... Japanese playmakers who've done the competition so proud over the years. Thurtell for Knowles. Knowles goes around Okada brilliantly. The West Australian cuts it across. Joe gets to the back post. And it's saved by... If they can get their first win of the season here tonight, I'm sure they'll make a step to, in the right direction. Knowles. Chips it to the back stick, acrobatically done by Ruben Way. Knowles again, who just has this innate ability to keep running with the ball and ride challenges, and he's done it there. Joe Knowles whips it in, Thurtell! 1 0 to Oakley, and Joe Knowles, what a. Lakeside Stadium, South Melbourne 1, Eastern Lions 1. And in what has been quite an emotionally difficult week for the Eastern Lions, as we stick with play. Joe Knowles intercepts that one for Theodoridis and. Follies it straight out of bounds. But of traded periods of dominance, it seems like 15 minutes. Oakley are by far the better team, and then Heidelberg do their thing as four minutes goes up on the fourth official's board for added time, a minimum of four minutes, of course. Knowles. So energetic, Knowles. He's too quick for Dane Milovanovic in his 100th top flight appearance field to their captain he's got plenty of room to move forward on this near side goes for a long ball up the line it's a good one as well and the chance of the ball to come across it's a good cross Oakley not out of danger for Sheeney does well to bring that down on the first touch comes back to Matthews ball whipped in it's a great one cleared briefly not over for a throw in No Brent McGrath tonight, as mentioned earlier on by Lockie, uh, sent off last week after scoring a goal against Heidelberg. Two yellow cards in space of minutes as we see Oakley drive into the box. And the cross blocked by the captain, Jack Webster. Fashini on the ball here, twisting and turning and evading the challenge of Mitch Hoare. Guest, fizzes one into the path of Joe Knowles. The chance is here for Joe Knowles, a good save. Down to his left, but the danger is inverted. And Feeney has a chance to do the same as his opposite position. He finds Joey Guest with a great ball out wide. The strike from Knowles that goes across and takes a touch from Lopez. And a late chance. Order of Tom Matthews could have very easily found him if he had the wherewithal to pick him out. Can the Cannons punish them? Joe Knowles cutting his way inside. A nice little reverse pass to Wade Decker. Loses out there, the greatly less fancy St Albans. So they just want to see some consistency of performance. And I think they've certainly, they were certainly in the fight against Heidelberg last week and probably should have won that game. And 
so far against the strong Oakley Cannons outfit. They've also matched it with the best of them. But here are the Cannons once again through Joe Knowles. He's got Webster and Yaconis for company. Knocks his effort. Must have been some scenes over there and it continues our Tona Magica's uh, streak of not taking three points away from games. They're really struggling at the moment, aren't they, Lockie? Yeah. Massive shock so far, the Altona Magic. Certainly the side that's fallen furthest of anyone's expectations, at least ahead of the start of the season, the Magic. They've got quality players, but can they put it all together? Speaking of which, Oakley trying to put together the opening goal of the game, and they went ever so close there through Joel and Earls, who struck the upright post there. It was hit with some venom. Javi Lopez did Right second and uh, prevented... The first goal of the evening, and I'll tell you what, two chances. Nick Tiles will be pulling his hair out, Lockie. Actually, that was an unbelievable chance. The second in the space of a few minutes as this game really starts to open up. Here's Joe Knowles clipping it in. Matt Thurtell was rising but wasn't able to get his head to. Comes back to Cornelia again. Takes a touch inside, lays it off for Mitch Hall. And it's intercepted. It's a chance to stream forward for Joey Knowles. He's got Joey Guest on his right, Thurtell on his left. Goes Thurtell. It's a first-time strike. Xavier Lopez, the one-handed palm off. And the He's done well to keep it there. And now driving to space himself is John Albano. Just couldn't quite keep the ball under control. Knowles. And looks wide. That's a great pass. Guest, one-on-one -on -one with his defender. Can he cut inside? He does. Guest. Some words will be said at halftime by Chris Taylor, no doubts about where they can improve their performance to get back into this game. As there's only one additional minute to be played as the ball's whipped in towards the middle. We did well to clear. Now again, now it's down there from Decker. Given away, but one back. Kubale. Got some space there with Knowles driving forward now. One-on-one -on -one with his man. Cuts back onto his left as Knowles whips in towards the middle. Oh, it's in the back of the net from Matt Thurtell. Like a book. And Holmes plays Guest in space. Joe Guest. Nicely waited for Joe Knowles. Karanovic beats it away at the near post. Oakley opening up Joe Guest to turn and run. It's always their most dangerous option. Tyson Holmes finding Joe Knowles. Lovely turn. Topalovic gets a foot in. And Knowles will play. For Very well marshaled this Dandy City defence so far this evening. Knowles trying to find a gap. He's around Isles. Guest's shot was blocked by Dib. Kubale. Looking to play Guest in. It's a lovely first time header for Thurtell. An advantage paid. Joe Knowles now. Standing. Gavin Denise down. And testing the palms of Yasko. And again. Knowles. So quick off that first step. And he'll go with the early ball in. Looking for Thurtell. Karanovic punches. Referee not interested. It's Thurtell, one of the goal scorers. Joe Knowles now. Such a potent attacking quartet on the park now. Knowles still going. Karanovic palms it away. And watching from the UK. Hello to you, Ben. Kalmar turning. And Knowles intercepting. Here comes Decker. Looking to find the telling ball. We have had W League games called off at this venue for what we were told was wildlife damage. So here's Joe Knowles going to the byline. Another change being readied. We'll get confirmation of that when we can. Joe Knowles running at McCormick. Joe Knowles still going to the byline. Fertel. Into the side netting. Kubale. Ball breaks Oakley's way. And now it's Joe Knowles threading it through for Thurtell. Is he onside? Over the top, Joe Guest. Has two for company. Finds the gap. 
for Knowles. He's got Thurtell. It falls for Decker at the back post. Holmes, 1-0. Oakley take the lead and it's Tyson Holmes. Thurtell on the second ball. Matt Thurtell gets his second of the season. Hospital ball, but... Well, both sides battling for it. And it's Oakley who come away on the break again. Matt Thurtell. Holmes finding Joe Guest, who loves this scenario. A retreating defence. Runners playing for the passing lanes. And the Englishman, who won back-to-back -back golden boots in WA with Inglewood. Decker. Pull back for the original foul. Port. He gets the rebound. Oh, George Opolis was there for the simple inside ball, and he's frustrated. Beckett went for the more elaborate route. Knowles. Thurtell was in a good position. Joe Knowles wins it back. Matt Thurtell has Decker in the middle. Come. Feely. Flicked on by Holmes. Thurtell. Decker, lovely ball, over the top. Joe Guest, throw on goal. Miller, cutting out the pass. Knowles, in space. Has options to pick out, might go himself. He went past Jones, and went down. Lurie, it's Rizuki from the left, whips it in. Had it clear at the front post. Holmes. Running out the defence is Knowles. Beats Fabris for pace, skins him, whips one in, in the middle, and it just gets by Thurtell. Uh, given Feely a really tough time. Ball played central on the right is Knowles, who will receive, takes a touch, looking to take on his man. Works the angle, ball in the middle, and there's the equaliser. Parity restored. Now with Tom Matthews. Involved for Knowles. Drives forward. Cynical challenge. He evades. Ball in the middle. Breaks. Pachkowski straight to the goalkeeper. Still alive. There first. And he'll look to start an attack right from the back. Finds Knowles. Takes it past his man. Still going is Knowles. Good run down the right-hand side. Great ball in. Thurtell turns home. And Oakley Cannons have... ...into the win and do whatever they can to stop this onslaught here with the, the Cannons. Ball in the box. It's 3-1. And the Cannons have scored. Was it square? Ball in board is telegraphed. In behind is Knowles. Fires it straight to the goalkeeper. And he drifts in off the post. After starting ever so brightly early on, have seen their flame flicker away. And at the moment, it's in real danger of being blown out. Oakley Cannon's looking for a fifth. Advancing down the right is Knowles. Cuts it back for Holmes. Game enters its final few minutes. No doubt that um, they've really been a class above in this second half as they go forward again. And that great effort just wide. Thunderous drive there from that. Firing shouts from the Dandy Thunder fans. Holmes. Knowles. Past Mametti. He's got Bernardo for company as well. That's to the back stick. Decker centres. Guest strikes. Oh, he completely... It wasn't bad. But Hamish Miller hustled into the right spot. Terrific use of the body, Joe Knowles. He's fouled. Will we have an advantage? Surely not. Maybe a make-up call for the Joe Knowles free kick. Not given earlier. Joe Knowles with the header! And there it is. Fine. Kubele. 
Ali's header. Over the top for Knowles and fired in. Too powerfully for any Oakley. Two Thunder attackers bearing down on him. Holmes looking for Joe Knowles. His touch is heavy. Ascroft sliding in on a yellow card, remember. And Knowles does him the second time around. And he's past two here. Joe Knowles keeps going onto his left. And his strike straight into the head. It's Watson. Touch was too heavy. And Williams picked his pocket. Here's Knowles. In first time. Expect Tom Matthews at the front stick. Three players split on the edge of the box. Jamal Ali manages to get it away. Now Holmes for Knowles, who elects to dribble and goes down. And is that a penalty? It is. Cut up by Williams. The smart touch inside. the inside ball and Joey Knowles a strong challenge and it will be a free kick and probably the first yellow card of the evening for Altona Magic has given away a pretty promising free kick to the Cannons Joey Knowles puts this one in good spot cleared by Ruthven from Williams coming back from the UK recently so he'd be no stranger to playing in this kind of Climate as the ball comes forward. It's a good one from Fashini to Knowles. He'll have a strike. And it goes across to face a goal in the 27th minute. Now the Cannons with some numbers forward with Tyson Holmes. And Joe Knowles with an absolute peach of a shot in the top.